Hey guys, what's up? This is Aaron's Beauty Minute, and I'm Aaron. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the actual makeup quality and eyeshadow quality of the Amber Eyes palette by Profusion. Um, the last video that I did about this was complaining about the scent, uh, which I mean, the scent is still very strong. I still stand by the fact that it smells a bit like my nephew's butt paste. Um, but the actual quality of the palette is good. It's just, again, it has that strong scent. Um, and as I told you guys before, when I actually purchased this, which I'll show you the lovely colors again. Oh, well. Got to see my camera. Uh, so here's all of the shades here. Each shade has its own name, and it comes with a dual-sided brush. Um, this one's more for, like, sipping and blending, if you can see that. Nice flat tip there. And then this side is more of, like, a packer brush type deal, and more it's there to help you when you're, like, you're on the go, and you don't have enough time to actually sit down and do your full makeup right off, you know, because some people in the pass in the passenger seat are trying to do their makeup and pray that it turns out well with all those road bumps. Um, so basically I wanted to show you the quality and what you can do with this palette, so I'm going to zoom you in. So you can actually see, and yes I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure you can see it, but you can see that there's different shades going on right there. Uh, what I ended up doing was I did take, um, there we go, just zoom you back out a little bit. What I did, and it was actually a different process for me because I usually do it afterwards, is I used the concealer first, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, concealer and as I've displayed before there is a little bit of a sponge right there and you just take this turn it to your left it clicks and then you get more product in the sponge um, what I did differently this time was I took the concealer put it on first and then put on the foundation and just so you guys know, you probably know this after the last couple videos, but doesn't hurt to state it again. So I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Rose Ivory. And if you've never used this before, I can tell you right now, it comes up with a little spatula here. And you can either put, put the product either on the back of your hand directly onto a sponge, a brush, however it is more comfortable for you. Um, but, back to the palette. So, what I ended up doing was I took, as my transition shade, I took this guy right here, and the name is Ideal. Then I went in and I used this shade called Fearless. Then I went ahead and took the shade right next to it, and that is called Outgoing. And then after that, I used the fourth shade in called Likeable. And then just because I wanted a little bit of shimmer but not too much, I went ahead and did Chatty, which, you know, you can't really tell on camera that that is a shimmer, but it did get used. Um, this, I didn't use their dual sided brush for this because fortunately I was able to just sit down and do my makeup. Um, I did complain a lot about this palette before because I was like, man, all the things fell out and I had to sit here and literally glue them all back in their order. Um, that was fun. <laughs> so the other things that I ended up doing along with this palette like don't get me wrong I love the palette it's just the smell that bothers me it really is because I'm just like Ugh. 
makes you feel kind of sick after a while you're just like okay enough but it is what it is um i've also started to do kind of like a lip balm therapy for my my lips because they get dry and of course you know it's, it's season, season change and you know medicines whatever so what i decided to do was i went ahead and got the Blistex Lip Serum and it actually comes as a little pump like this so that you can sort of see what's going on in there and you literally barely push this down and you'll have product come out on your finger literally barely put any in there because it will coat your lips like three times over if you put more on um, during the rest of the day, what I've been using, and I think this is like a strawberry one, this is an EOS lip balm egg, and as you know, you take the cap off, and ba bam you have a nice, nice large dome going on in there. Now, I don't know how they take the, the rest of the balm out from under that when you reach the grate, like, I don't, I don't know, I've been trying to figure that out, and I'm going... Okay, um, I also use an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Unfortunately, it broke because all it takes is one time and it will just, it'll break. So I don't know if there's a way to like melt it down and put it into its, you know, an, an, another jar or what I can do with that. So if you guys have any recommendations on how to fix that, please leave them in the comment section because I don't want to just have to throw it away. It's up. You know, that, that would suck. Um, uh, it's my next step in my lip therapy is to use the a little tube of Carmex. I got the package that comes in three tubes instead of just the, the one here. And I'm sure all of you have seen Blistex before. Or not Blistex, Carmex. Oh, dear word. Uh... What you do is you push, if you've never used this before, you go to the other side, the other end, and then you squeeze, and a little bit of product comes out on there. I recommend giving it a little time in your pocket. Just use body heat, and then you can use a little bit, and a little bit will go a very long way. It won't feel like a paste on your lips. It'll just feel very glidey and cooling, and it'll get rid of that cold sore. It'll get rid of it. So, when we go back to the face, I ended up using the blush, it's a blush from ColourPop. This one is called Fun With Friends. This one, I believe, has been discontinued, but I've actually looked on ColourPop's website, and they have one that is extremely similar to this one. So, for all I know, they just changed the name because of the collaboration that was involved. So this is what it looks like, and it does have a little bit of reflectors in it. Um, so it's really pretty right here. It's not too bad. It gives me a lot of a lot of blush and coloring on both sides. And then I went in with the Elf highlighter in the shade um, Moonlit Pearls. And, you know, it's it's starting to work better because that top layer is starting to really break down. So that's, that's a big thing. You want to be able to have that. And you also want to be able to have brushes that deal with these sorts of things. So this one is an e.l.f. blush brush right here. And then this guy is an e.l.f. highlighting brush. And they're just, they're very good at their job. Um, but just to state, it's a very good palette and, you know, again, is it the highest of quality packaging? No. But if you think about it, it was only $10 and you get a lot of shadows, a lot of different looks out of it. Um, some of you are asking what I was using as far as mascara goes. Um, I've been using the Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect uh, mascara, and it comes out like this. So it's it's a long wand. Let's take that junk off the end. 
it is a long wand and it has you know a lot of spiky parts to it there is one side I really wish that would show better on camera there we go so it does have a little bit of spikage going on and then there's a little tiny bit that doesn't have spikes on it um, but I mean they're they're very they're very pronounced um, after using that mascara I'm not really sure that I'm gonna buy it again um, I will probably either go to back to Lash Paradise or even just to my e.l.f. waterproof lengthening and volumizing mascara so I mean it's not that it doesn't impress me or anything like that it's just I don't like my lashes literally just to be clumped together like this I don't I'm not a big fan of that um, but I mean yeah that's how this look went and you know even though it was not the highest of quality you do get a lot for your buck um, you know so I actually look forward to continuing to use it to really go with it with an unbiased opinion um, but that's kind of where we're at today. Um, I know that you guys really just wanted to have an idea of, okay, what what's wrong with this? Because a lot of people have it. Profusion, I went on their website, it is loaded with amazing stuff that is incredibly affordable. Um, I, real, I looked into it more and... It is not exclusive to Target. It's actually in other stores as well. Um, but I think even though it doesn't have the greatest of scent, it is definitely worth trying out. So just, just be careful. Make sure that if you do have a broken one that you either return it or try to exchange it for something else. You know, like just, just try to do that because you don't know why they're broken or I mean for me I'm assuming it was transit I don't know but yeah I think that's really all I need to say um, also I forgot to mention that I use this lovely puppy here and this is the finishing powder in the shade light medium from elf cosmetics this is literally like once I have put on my foundation I actually use this to set it so it it works it works just fine um, but yeah that's kind of what it is and you also got to see my lip therapy I use the serum morning and night I use the EOS all throughout the day and then I use the Carmex after I put on the nightly dose of the serum so that's partly why my lips are looking a little bit better now, I did put a lipstick on them for for this, but, you know, outside of that, it's amazing. So, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're brand new, hi, welcome to the channel. Um, if you are returning, again, thank you so much. And if you guys have suggestions of things that you would like me to try out, please make a drugstore. Um, but, yeah, just, just throw recommendations down there and I'll do what I can with it. And I really am sorry that it's been, that I have not been posting on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Like I said, I would. Things just been crazy and happening and busy. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you do like what you see here, not only, please, will you hit the like button, but hit the subscribe button and clap and click on that little bell that's right next to it because it's going to notify you every time I post a new video. You'll always get to see things that I've done previously in videos and I think you guys will see that I've grown a bit in that situation but I would really appreciate your feedback and for you know just things in general <laughs> just being around. Alright guys, love you. I will see you later. Bye.